Hi, welcome to Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. This is a stand-up paddleboard review of Perception's Jetty 11. The Jetty 11 is the longer board in the series, which also includes that short 9-foot version. The Jetty 11 has a 32-inch beam and a 4 and 3 quarter inch depth and is 11 feet in length. Given that it is that bigger board, a little wider, a little deeper, it's more for what we would call, say, a medium to small size paddler in that 95 to about 160 pound range. This board itself is a planing sup, meaning it has more of the rounded nose, a little more of the upswept ends to help be a little more versatile in the water, a little more playful overall. Looking at some of the features of the Jetty 11, you have what Perception calls their lifts up handle. So it does come up and goes back down when you're not using it. So pretty handy, easy to grab. You do have a vent plug here as well. Given that this board is made from a high density foam on the outside, and if you leave it in the sun for too long, you get some pressure built up on the inside of the board. If you don't let that air escape, what can happen is you'll get some bubbling on the deck. So overall it would warp the, the top of the board. Moving towards the nose, you've got two lashing plugs here to put a bungee strap if you want to incorporate some of the gear. Um, and again, because it is that planing style stuff, you have more of the rounded nose with it coming up and out of the water to help drive you up and over waves if you get yourself into a little more of that playful conditions with the bigger waves, a little more wind and that type of thing. Not much to discuss at the tail of the Jetty 11. Um, they do provide that lashing point for the board leash, which is nice because this board is sold as a package, which gives you the paddle, the board, your fin, and then as well as the leash itself to keep a rider with board if you do happen to take a bit of a dive off when you're playing out in the waves and having some fun. Um, being that this is the 11 foot board, if you really want to make it a little more playful, you would shift your weight to the tail of the board to bring that nose out of the water and shorten the water line. Uh, what I can say is, is even though this is a foam material on the top, when you do get it wet, it is a little more slippery than the traction pads that you would find on a composite board. Um, so you do have to kind of have a little more of that skill to get back here and make sure you don't fall off. Looking at the hull of the Jetty 11, the hull is constructed from a slick, hard vinyl type of plastic. Uh, that means it is a little more durable than a composite board, meaning if you were to hit some rocks, it's not going to crack. But that being said, if you hit it hard enough, instead of this cracking, what it can do is dent. And if you start to get a bunch of dents in the bottom of the board, you're changing the profile of the hull on the water, which means you're affecting how it performs. At the back, like most SUP boards this length, you get your single center fin. This fin itself is more of a flexible type of plastic, so it's a little more durable and a little safer if it hits you if you do fall off. The, uh, the hard resin fins or the fiberglass fins potentially could, could cut you a little bit if you hit it hard enough. Um, so they make this a little safer, again, because this is more of that introductory type of board. So overall, the Jetty 11 is the longer board of the series to accommodate that little bit bigger paddle or somebody in that 95 to 160 pound range. It is very much an introductory board. It's never going to give you the performance that you would find on a composite board. A little more durable on the hull because of that sort of plastic type of material. Uh, sold as a package which is nice because it gets you the board, the paddle, the board leash and the fin all for $709 plus your tax. So a great way to get started, a good board for at the cottage with multiple users, skilled riders, and, and somebody that's first getting started as well. So you're not so worried about them taking it out and damaging it. If you want to give it a try, come on out to our on water location. We're Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. We do free test paddling every day of the week. So we'd like you to come out and come paddle with us.